everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and we are here in our Asian Forest Zoo where we are settling in and getting pretty excited because we are finally adding birds into the aviary which is long long overdue. I am very excited to be able to fill this place up with all sorts of beautiful birds and to really get the people excited to be wandering through maybe seeing something awesome and what we're working on right now is making a little spot for the palm cockatoo which we are putting over here because I think and I could be wrong about this but I think these guys are actually coded so that uh, they will attack the other birds so we're gonna leave them in their own little section over here so hopefully they will not be eager to go after and try to hunt our other birds and we're gonna give them lots of things to be able to drink from little bird water dishes let's see we're gonna need to give them maybe a little spot for water I wonder if I can do the elevated bird feeder actually looks awesome doesn't it so let's put an elevated bird feeder up we might not do multiple feeding stations here just because I worry that if we make it too crowded, the birds will have a hard time reaching everything. Um, let's see, there's the chameleon tree. There's a little lookout. There's a giant rock formation that's a little bit too big for in here. There's the misty spring, which would block basically everything in here. There's a lookout post. I wonder if they'll use this lookout post. Can we like put that at the back and then they'll enjoy it? <gasps> Thea is going to give birth, that's so cool. So the orangutan is now giving birth, which is awesome. We can put a little block of ice with an apple kind of in the middle over here so that everybody can enjoy watching the birds try to get to it. Um, they're little shelters. So these are what are listed as their shelters. I have not often had this work for many of the birds that I've used before, but we're gonna put it in and see if it helps these birds out. And then I wonder, like the durian tree tends to be a tree that even my modded birds can swim up in. So I'm going to put it in here, even though it looks like we can only fit like one tiny durian tree. I think maybe they can fly into the bamboo tree or the bamboo, the banana. Goodness gracious, Siri. The banana trees, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to put a killie tree in, even though it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit for some of these. There we go. Hopefully not crowding this place too much. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, and then let's see, can I fit anything else in here? Maybe like one palm tree, maybe one more over here. Oh well, am I gonna, I might as well just have it stick out the side of the greenhouse. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Don't worry everybody, just uh, ignore that. We're gonna hide it with some killie trees. There we go. No need to look too close at this everybody. No need to look too close. There we go, and then let's get in here with some ground cover. I'm really excited, this is actually happening. We're actually going to be releasing some birds into our aviary over here. All right, so let's see. We've got some bunch of horsetails, got some java moss, ooh, the java ferns. Ooh, here we go, the large ferns. This is what I want to see. All right, let's turn a little bit. Killy tree, you're kind of right up in my face. All right, there's something wrong with panther chameleon, chameleon 13 and one of our giant pandas. So we'll go check on those guys in just a little bit. Let's see, I need to turn. Ah, this is much easier. All right, and we're gonna get the large ferns kind of at the back so that they're able to cover some of the stuff up. The jungle palms will be another perfect little medium. You wanna do those heights. I'm always talking about that, but I mean it. It really helps when you do plants at different heights. Medium, um, especially in fish tanks. That's actually where I learned about that rule is to do like your low level, your medium, and your upper level plants because there are creatures that exist in each of those different areas. If you have a fish in your fish tank, some of those fish might be the kind of fish that are bred and like born and they're just evolved to only really appreciate like high level hiding spots. So you might have some low level fish and, or some low level little plants and your fish will never do anything with them because they're used to high level plants. That's just what their species like is used to dealing with. And so you'll get all upset and you'll be like, but my fish never use plants. Why should I spend perfectly good money on providing them plants? And it's because it has to be the plants that they need. So I'm big on plants. For the animals, it means shelter, protection, the chance not to get eaten. And that's really something I think humans underestimate in giving animals a sense of security. All right, and nanners, something's wrong with nanners, what? Nanners, are you okay? Our little hungry orangutan baby? Come over here, Nanners. Did Nanners just grow up? Nanners, is that you? Nanners just grew up! <laughs> All right, awesome. And Nanners is still obsessed with eating bananas from the feeder ball. And look at everybody. Oh, they're just having a good time. I cannot believe how excited I am about the orangutan area. All right, well, let's go ahead and move our palm cockatoos over here. 
and we'll see how they enjoy their new exhibit and hopefully they aren't just gonna like wander straight out of there and start terrorizing everybody. All right. Oh, and it also occurred to me, we don't have peacocks in this zoo yet. How silly is that? We definitely need to have some peacocks either wandering around in the zoo or I'll probably give them their own area here. This zoo's huge. And I would have to do like peacock feeding and watering stations every few feet if we just did it traditionally, how we usually let the peacocks roam free. All right, we're gonna put the education donation or the endangered donation box right here. And then do I have enough room for an educator over here? Because I really want to put an educator down here. I should have more educators. Why do I not have more educators? Like, I want educators lined up all over the place over here to teach people. What on earth am I doing? Iris is really hungry. Oh, dear. Why, Iris? All right, why are you really hungry? You're pooping. Did I lose, like, Iris, why are you? I, just come over here. There's food over here, Iris. Red Panda 22 has died of old age. Oh, we are losing some animals to old age, but that does indeed happen. And let's make sure, oh, it looks like somebody has finally been able to reach my panther chameleons. Let's make sure that Panther Chameleon 13 is okay. Are you okay? Are you snoring? Are you sleeping? You just scared the bejesus out of me! And then you get kicked by a zookeeper! I didn't know they did that! Are you sleeping too? Jeez Louise, that scared me! Don't do that! Don't do that! Why are you doing that? You look like you're dead! You're not supposed to do that! Chameleons aren't supposed to do that! Are you dead? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And giant panda- what? Hang on! Nah. Mm. Oh my gosh! Okay, hang on, what's going on over here? Where is my panther chameleon? Come here, panther chameleon! Are you okay? Like, are you- it's sleeping in the shade! Okay, it's fine, it's just sleeping on its back, giving Siri a heart attack, that's fine! And why are you so sick, sweetheart? Don't you know where the food is? Here, let's put you in a little crate for a second, and then release you. Sometimes that seems to help them. Why are you guys not feeling well? What's going on, huh? Iris is really hungry. Iris, you got a little jab in the rump-a-dump there. Why aren't you eating? I mean, it's not like I have multiple food types I can offer you, Iris. You're a panda. I have bamboo, and I have bamboo on a substrate pile, and I have bamboo in a food trough. But what I basically have for you, my dear, is bamboo because you're a panda. So I can't really give you a bigger variety than that if, if you're, that's what you're shooting for here. Yeah, look, you look at the bamboo. No, don't investigate that fish. You're a panda. Iris, this is not, or Giant Panda 10, I mean, this is not the time for a crisis of, like, panda identity. Swinging head back and forth. Why? The bamboo's right here. Are you guys okay? Do I have, like, a, a panda, like, bamboo strike? What on earth is going on? Iris, why won't you eat? Why won't, what is going on here? Why are all of my pandas refusing to eat? Is this gonna do it? Okay, we're gonna have to try food in different, different shapes. Okay, we're putting down... We're putting down containers of food in different patterns now. Okay, she's gonna go eat from the, the large food trough. All right, there we go. Gonna go eat from the food trough. All right, everybody's everybody's ambling over to the food trough. I have no idea why my- I guess they're just- they're just gonna eat from the food dish. There they go. My pandas are too good for this bamboo on the ground anymore, I guess. Oh boy. Are you eating bamboo from over here? I had like a panda bamboo strike. This zoo amazes me. I love the, the chaos of just all the random things that they give me to do every day because what on earth? What on earth is that even about, my little my little friends? Look at them all amble over here. They're like, oh my gosh, there's bamboo. There's been bamboo here the whole time. I love you guys. Just don't, don't, just take care of yourselves. Okay, little ones, just take care of yourselves. All right, let's grab another educator podium. We are gonna leave behind us a trail of education, whether these people like it or not. And they're gonna like it because education is awesome. Everyone should want to learn something new all the time. Because that's just the best way to do things. Alright, we've got two new educator podiums. And I'm gonna staff them with two new educators. And now we might actually have a chance to swing back and enjoy looking in... Okay, Iris is really hungry, dang it. Orchid is really hungry. Eat! Eat! For crying out loud, Orchid! What is up with my pandas? I have a panda, like, hunger strike. Okay, Iris. Orchid going to rest. Okay, well, I think it's going to be okay now because they're starting to realize they have food. They just needed it freshly placed down, I guess. I'm going to remove these old foods. Maybe that was just causing problems. I am not exactly sure. 
I'll put over more of these new types of foods. Are they are there no more black cranes and white cranes over here? Are we out of cranes? Or are the pandas sad because we don't have any cranes? They don't do that, like just for the record, not as like a real thing. But I, that's all I can think of because I think the cranes all passed away of old age. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess I can get more cranes. But speaking of cranes, I need to go and actually get a chance to look at the, the cockatoos that we just put in here. The black palm cockatoos. Because this place is gonna be hopping and there was a little boy in here looking at them. Oh, look at them! They're so pretty, you guys! Oh my gosh! Look at everybody! Hi! Hi! How are you guys doing? They're so pretty, you guys! Are they doing okay? Are you adjusting well? Do you have a, a keeper? I know I have some stray keepers running around. Yeah, using the killie tree. I, I called it. I knew that they would be able to use the killie tree in there. Palm cockatoo. Three looks odd climbing the durian tree. Well, you know what? They like the durian tree, little girl. All right, the educator is very educational. All right, they're complaining about the durian tree. I really like the durian tree. Don't complain about my durian tree. I might have to... I'll sell my durian tree because you're complaining about it. <laughs> At least you guys have the killie trees. All right, and they like the lookout post. I'll scooch the killie tree over. Oh, no, the killie tree doesn't need to be scooched over. Yeah, palm cockatoo too, seeking privacy. They should be able to eat, okay, and they should be able... Yeah, it looks like they're drinking just fine. So... Yeah, there! See, they're happier with the palm cockatoos resting in the lookout post. Yeah, everybody's happy that they're using the lookout post. He gave the zoo a donation! Woo! Gotta love those guys who have, like, an ATM ability. Because I feel so bad for the kids because they come and they spend all their money. And they have zero money and I don't think that they can actually use the ATM to get more money. So, we're usually hitting up the adults because we want the adults to keep spending money. See, this kid spent all his money too! But I'm glad he's happy. That's the point, is to teach these guys. And speaking of teaching them, let's check out Iris. Iris, why? Looking at the large rock cave. Come on, Iris. Come here. All right, come here. All right, we're going to put you in a little crate. We're going to count to three. One, two, three. Sometimes, like, putting them in a crate and then taking them out seems to reset what they do. All right, we're going to heal her, groom her. She's getting groomed and jabbed. Don't investigate the fish! You're a panda! Eat the bamboo! There's bamboo trough, food trough, right behind you! I can give you nothing but bamboo, my dear! That's the- just- it's the way- it's the way things are! It's the way things are here! I'm sorry! If you're- if you're- look, you don't have a reason to be hungry! I literally shower you with bamboo! There's so much bamboo here! Come on, come eat the cut. It's right here. You're having to get more shots. Iris, are you okay? You're just like standing there trembling. You're looking at the food trough. Can you not move? Here, come here. Swinging your head back and forth. Come on. This pregnancy is just like taking it out of you. Do you need fresh bamboo? Is that what you're demanding? Are the stars of my zoo so picky that they want to eat from like a fresh, fresh bamboo trough every time? Is that how it is now? Uh, I don't want to sell this. I meant to move it. That scared me. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh my gosh, really? Alright. Alright, look at the food dish. If, if that's what I have to do to get you through this pregnancy, I will, Iris. If I have to hand feed you from a brand new, pristine, never before used food dish, we can do this. Come on, look at the food dish. Come on, you can do it. It's right here. I don't think you're gonna die of hunger. There's that, at least. But I have a, a very troubling panda panda hunger strike going on here. Oh boy, don't take pictures. I heard somebody taking pictures. Don't take pictures of this, you guys. <laughs> oh, she's not happy. It looks like Iris needs something to eat. Well, she has something to eat. <laughs> Why? Iris, do you want the food back on the ground? Is that what you need? Here's more bamboo. Come on, Iris. Help your keepers out here. You're surrounded by bamboo, my dear. Why is Orchid hungry too? Orchid! What is going on? I'm gonna have to ask for professional help. I'm gonna- do you, do you guys really want me to send you to Ben? Do you really want that? Because I don't think you do. Look, here's a baby. He's eating- oh my gosh, that's actually really freaking cute. 
<laughs> that baby was definitely enjoying eating the the bamboo so we'll just have to come back to them i don't think they can die of that but it's definitely making me very worried uh, about my pandas all right and let's go ahead really quickly i want to find where the cranes went because i want to put down the black and white cranes in the panda exhibit again we normally just put the females down because some of the cranes will actually crash your game in a horrible explosion of fire and pain when the babies try to hatch out of their eggs and only some of them do um but i forget which one so i usually play it safe with the cranes we learned that the hard way and lost like one of my favorite maps because of it so let's see um was it you was it you the demoiselle queen oh you look very pretty you're a lovely crane, but I don't know if that was that was the one we were gonna use. Now you're gorgeous. All right, we'll we'll get a few of these females, and let's make sure. All right, oh, you are actually quite the omnivore, aren't you? Interesting. So these are not the cranes we had before, but I think they should be able to adjust okay in here. We'll just put a little bit of grass. We'll put down some insects for them to eat in various places. Let's see, some insects over here, some grass and berries over here. And they should adjust just fine because they're very pretty. And then we'll put down like one, two, three, four females. And then I need to find my black cranes because the white and black cranes with the white and black pandas just fit really well together. Also, what do you guys think about having some flamingos here? Because I think some flamingos would be a pretty nice addition. We'll kind of loosen up. We've been easing up a little bit on the definition of like, well, we're in the savanna zone. We should only do savanna animals and things like that. Just to make things interesting. Oh, and that reminds me. Scarlet Ibis, one of my all-time favorite birds. Every single time we go to see uh, the North Carolina Zoo, those are the guys that I go to see like first off. I actually have one of their feathers. I'm so excited about that. All right, let me see. Kagu, where's my cranes? Did I pass up my cranes? Iris is giving birth, so we'll check on her in just a second to see if she's going to be okay after she has her baby. Because maybe it's just panda pregnancy issues. Like upset tummies, not letting her eat. All right, there is some of the old guys. Let's see. I have a feeling I passed up the crane while I was like looking at other stuff. And I am going to look really silly now as I'm still like, where's my crane? My black crane. I thought you were somewhere. Is that That's a black. Oh, what storks we put over here last time. That's right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and we'll add in like four more of the black storks. There we go. And just let them kind of wander around. Uh, why is everybody wanting to reach Red Panda? What on earth is wrong? Oh my gosh! You're like on the verge of dying! What is going on with my pandas lately? Oh my goodness gracious! Alright, Panda32, what is happening with my baby pandas? Alright you guys, we clearly have like a panda catastrophe on our hands. Let's check on Iris. Oh my goodness gracious. Iris, Iris, there you are! Wait, why are there orangutans? The baby orangutans, why is no one taking care of your babies? You have a mother, Caramel! Be a good mother here! I feel like we're gonna have to- let's remove the elevated water dish. Whoops, I did not mean to remove the monkey tree. Because I think the babies get stuck under it. Have you noticed that? Like, they, they seem to like just run around in circles under it. Iris! Red Panda 30 has just died of illness! What on earth? What on earth? And Palm Cockatoo 1 is really hungry. Fern is really hungry. Iris is really hungry. Iris, why are you not eating? What is going on? Orchid! Orchid! Iris! What is happening here? Do you not see all the food? Oh my gosh. Alright you guys, we've kind of got some chaos going on here in the zoo. The pandas in both the normal panda and the red panda area need help. It looks like the palm cockatoos need more food sources because um, they're not able to get to the food source on the elevated food path when there's so many of them at once. So we've got a little bit of work to do. Definitely have some care to be giving. I think we might have to adopt out some of the pandas. I mean, she's investigating everything but her bamboo. Oh, I'm worried about her. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to try to get to the bottom of this. We're going to have to redo the entire red panda exhibit because I cannot turn my back on the animals we're taking care of to start expanding because I really want to expand and work on the challenges and I want to do so many things. But why on earth is no one taking care of the baby like orangutans and my palm cockatoos are hungry and oh my gosh, there's a lot to do and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.